Hi guys, today I'm making this uh, tanjong milk bread and I just thought to make it together um, so that you can see how easy it is. I haven't made it before so you will see how easy it is to try a new recipe. To start we need some milk and that's 100 grams to be exact. As you know, your Thermomix TM6 has the scales inbuilt in the feet of the Thermomix, so it measures everything down to one gram increment. So that's um, one of my favorite features. Um, then we need some baker's flour, 60 grams. And we are actually going to just heat it up up to 65 degrees for three minutes. The next step is actually to put it aside for 10 minutes to cool down. Don't ask me why, I'm sure there's a reason for that. Um, and then we'll go, um, we'll carry on from there. All right, so um, we're here after 10 minutes and I have amazing news. I've just read um, on Google what actually Kangjong means and Kangjong is actually a method of um, of making this bread. Kangjong is actually a paste that you create by mixing the flour and the liquid. So in this case it's the milk and then that um, you can see here that's the paste we're talking about um, and basically that paste is meant to uh, make the milk bread even softer and even extend the shelf life. We're gonna add another 230 grams of milk. Okay. Um, another 500 grams of baker's flour. Uh, 30 grams of milk powder. Uh, some two teaspoon of dried instant yeast. Two eggs. and some sea salt uh, 100 grams of salted butter cut into pieces I have unsalted butter so you just add what you have I might add some little bit more of salt there you go to make it salted uh, 50 grams of sugar or um, less if you like I like to experiment with recipes, uh, a lot of times I add less sugar, um, so feel free to experiment, don't go too much away from what the, uh, the recipe says, uh, at least the first time, so you know what the result should be according to the recipe, um, and then, you know, if you don't like the recipe, in, in you know, it's too sweet, next time just add less sugar, and so on. Next step is to um, knead. So as you know, if you have a TM6, uh, these recipes that we follow on Cookie Do, they are all pre-guided. Um, so like here, the kneading part is already preset for you for four minutes. All you have to do is turn the dial and that's going to uh, knead. And then we go from there. All right, our kneading mode is done. Um, the next step is actually in a video, so if you are a new user to Thermomix and I'm not there, then you can just play the video and it will show you um, what to do next. And basically in this case, we need to uh, place the dough on the silicone bread mat um, and or any surface and knead into a tight ball. Seems a bit sticky, so I'm gonna grab some more flour which I refilled uh, my container during the kneading. I'm sure some of you love to knead by hand, but I'm not one of them. So I'm a big fan of Thermomix doing things for me. Okay, so like I mentioned in the beginning, this is the first time I'm making this particular bread. I'm not scared to try new recipes and I encourage all my customers to give it a go, you know. Uh, the worst can happen is 
um, that you know you fail and then you can try again all right so place dough and then knead into tight okay let's see it is a little bit more sticky than what the video shows sorry i hope i don't mess it up by adding too much flour but hey I'll be the last one left when the lights go out I'm down to one last breath But I can't stop now We all fall down sometimes Yeah, but that's just life So cross my heart and hope to I think, I'm, I think this is what I'm supposed to be doing Okay, Die, baby, I was born to f Fight the fear when I feel like dying I'm trying to fly high but I'm not a pilot Can't deny it There's some days I feel idiotic Just a product of a system Where you're lucky just to make a dollar That ain't gonna stop me cause my grind's contagious I'll do what it takes to turn passion to paychecks and if Looks nice and smooth Alright Now um, what we need to do is just Wrap it in the silicon bread mat If you don't have a silicon bread mat um, Just put it in a bowl and cover with a clean film. If you would like to get one of these beautiful, amazing thermal mats, you can either purchase it in the mix shop, but you can also host uh, demonstrations at your home. Cooking experience, all you need to do is invite two people to see the thermal mix and you're gonna get a really huge discount on this mat. Um, together with another smaller one that fits in the baking uh, tray. We're gonna wrap it and wrap it again. Here we need to just leave it aside for 45 minutes to prove. Um, and then we go from there. All right, so here we are. Um, I just spent the whole 40 minutes um, editing the first part of the video and uh, it's terrible. <laughs> So I had to cut out a lot. I talk too much, but I will work on it. So anyway, I hope you're still here. Um, <laughs> anyway, all right. So let's see, let's get on to it. Uh, focus, all right. And wow, it looks nice. So, ooh, hello. Okay. So the next step is to cut it into three, um, into three equal pieces apparently and roll into balls so again there's a video uh, not as sticky anymore so that's good mm -hmm. all right a little bit sticky but that's okay i don't know all right let's see i'll get some flour <laughs> So using a rolling pin, I flatten each ball into a rectangle and then roll from the long edge into a log shape and cut each log in half. We just have to roll it into the rectangle. There we go. Um, and then roll from the long edge into a shape of a log easy all right and then cut each log in half and arrange pieces of dough next to each other in the prepared bread tin okay so this is our bread tin you do you just use any bread tin that you have okay and we're going to arrange in there and then hopefully it's fine I was panicking there, but it's fine. <laughs> um, it fit. And our next one is to cover this bread tin. Um, and we leave it for another 40 minutes. So if you're still here, um, 
thank you first of all and i this is actually something that i um <laughs> i'm pushing myself out of my comfort zone i haven't done these videos in ages and i need to get back into it um very rusty at the moment and uh, but i'm excited i'm excited to get better and hopefully um you know hopefully you learn something and it helps you in any way so thank you for being here and see you soon all right so we are ready to um place the dough into the oven um if you don't have anywhere um warm in your house to proof the dough um consider putting it near the um aircon near the heating or whatever heating you've got um, otherwise if it's during the day um, anywhere in the window if there's sunny um, window then that will help as well um, so we can see the dough has nicely um, proved and we can now do the next step which is just um, mixing an egg yolk and a little bit of milk together whisking it together and then now we can brush it over the over the dough all right so this is what it looks like now and in this next step so this is really cool as well you can actually set the timer on the thermal mix um, within the recipe okay so this recipe this step is asking to um, set the timer uh, for well you bake for five minutes first at 190 degrees and then you just need to reduce the temperature to 170 and bake for another 35 to 40 minutes. Um, so I'm just going to do that now, set timer for five minutes and it's already there. So it's actually pre-set for you as well. So set timer for five minutes, pop it in the oven. Um, and then in five minutes, I'm just going to reduce the temperature and set the timer again for another 35 minutes um, and I'll show you the result. All right, the bread is ready. I'm just going to take it out of the oven. Just going to put this one out here. Here it is, it looks amazing. looks amazing our tanjong milk bread very easy i recommend to make it but i haven't tasted it yet so i will let you know once i have probably in the comments somewhere thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions